Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with another tutorial and today we're going to make a one page wonder interactive mini album which is really cool because it's only made from one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. I'm going to list all the materials that you need in the description so you have a supply list there. But as you can see we'll need a trimmer and a bone folder just to start. So let's get started. You will need a 12 by 12 cardstock in any color that you want. I've used black. And we're going to start by scoring it at 3 inches and then scoring it at 6 inches and then scoring it at 9 inches. I also want to tell you that there is a complete cutting and instruction guide that you can download for free also there is a link in the description so go ahead and download that so you'll have all the measurements and the instructions so we're going to turn the page 90 degrees to the left and score again at 3, 6 and 9 inches pretty easy up till now I'm going to do it slow so you can all follow along Next we're going to do some cutting. You see there is a grid of 16 little squares on the page. So we are going to make three cuts. The first cut is going to be on the left fold line, left vertical fold line. And we're going to cut it from the top to the third, one, two, three, to the third fold line. All the way down from the top to that line there. We're going to repeat the same cut on the right fold line. On this line here, cutting it from the top to the third fold line, the third horizontal fold line. Finally, the last cut is going to be on the middle fold line, the middle vertical fold line. We're going to cut it from the bottom this time to the third fold line from the bottom or the first fold line from the top. So from the bottom you count three fold lines and stop. So basically what you should have is a big W. This is what you should have and this is going to be the base of our mini album. And again I remind you all the instructions and measurements are in the guide that you can download. The link is in the description. So now we're going to start folding from the top left in an accordion shape. So one fold in, one fold out on all the fold lines that we created. When you reach the turn, you fold it under like so and continue. That was under, so now going to go on the top in accordion shape so this one is also under and always really burnish your folds with the bone folder and continue until you finish all the lines this one didn't go all the way to the fold line okay so that was over top this is goes under and you'll see that the fold lines will guide you on how to fold the entire mini album one to the top one to the bottom like this and continue until you finish folding the entire mini album so basically, now we have sort of a mini album that opens first page and then it looks like this. But now, most of the pages are open and we need to close them into pockets so the mini album will take shape. So I like to do it with liquid glue. You can do it with double-sided tape if you want. And we're going to close the first pocket 
with an opening to the top. So we're going to add glue to the left side and the bottom side. So the top side will going to remain open and that will give us a pocket. So just apply a very, very thin line of glue because we want the pocket to stay as open as possible. And then simply attach both sides of the pocket together. I always like to use my bone folder. Don't worry if there is a little bit of glue. Everything dries clear and it won't show. So basically this is the first page. Second page you see it opens to the bottom so we are going to do a side pocket and add a line of glue on the bottom. You don't need to add glue to the left because it's going to be closed later with our closing mechanism with the ribbon that we're going to create. So just a little line of glue on the bottom will be enough and then we'll create the side pocket. Basically it repeats itself. You're going to make either a side pocket or a top pocket in the same technique that I've just showed you. So you either glue the bottom for a side pocket or the left and the bottom for a top pocket. So again now we have reached another top pocket. So you add glue to the left and the bottom and leave the top open to make a pocket. And you repeat that on all the pockets on the way. This will create our mini album pages. So we just flip through and continue to create your pockets. Again, I remind you if you want the complete instruction guide, you can download it for free. The link is in the description. Just click the link and then you can get that instruction guide. You'll have all the measurements later for all the cover papers and the interactive mechanisms that we're going to make. You have it all listed there. So this is another top pocket. You see that I'm adding very very little glue just to secure everything. So basically our mini album is now ready. This is the base and now all we need to do is start covering the base with all the cool interactive mechanisms that we're going to add. So the first mechanism is a double flap. And again, you have all the measurements in the instruction guide. It is too many measurements to write here or tell you. I can tell you but this will spin your head. This one is 5 and 5 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths. And you have all the scoring and it's really confusing. So that's why I made a really detailed instructions so you'll be able to see what to cut and how to attach it. I'm using graphic 45 papers the second page is a pocket, so you have 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths square. This is the size of all the cover papers. And then another piece, smaller piece that you attach to the bottom of the page and create a pocket. And for inserts, you can use whatever you have in your stash or that matches the collection that you're using or just tags. The third page, again, is a little half flap. And again, you have all the measurements and how to create them in the instruction that you can download. The link is in the description. Next is this gorgeous lady. So basically, it's a 2 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths, and I just folded it in half. And I'm just going through all the papers and covering them 
and later we're going to go back and create inserts for our pockets. I haven't forgot about that. This is the exact same thing as this one, only this opens to the top and this one opens to the side. So it's basically the same measurements, 2 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths and folded in half. Next we are going to see I have this little hole. This is a really good um, opportunity to use a lot of scrap papers because it's very small. So I do want to use this but I have this hole there so I'm just going to cover it with two little strips that I've added and this is basically the same 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths square but instead of attaching it all to the page I simply scored it at one inch from the top and applied glue only to that part so the flap will be able to open. Next page is an accordion and again I didn't have a long enough strip so nobody said that the accordion should have three identical parts but when you want to make an accordion like this all you need to do is score it two and seven eighths and then score again at five and five eighths and that would give you the parts for the accordion next page I'm just covering it with paper don't have a large enough paper so I'm taking two pieces and covering using both of them to cover the page not all pages need to have a sophisticated moving mechanism this one's really cool it's going to have multiple flaps So the first one is 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths, which is going to be the base, the cover paper. And then I'm going to add smaller papers that I've scored. Again, you have everything written. And creating a flap. just to, this one is 2 and 7 eighths by 3 eighths and you can see that you have to use double sided cardstock of course for all the interactive mechanism and I've scored it at half an inch and attach it to the top. Next one is 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 3 quarters again scored it at half an inch and attached it below the first flap just to make it gradual. This one's really cool. You need a cover paper 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths and then a little strip of half an inch by at least 3 or 3 and a half, 3 and quarters, just enough to have two edges to wrap the cover paper and you attach glue only to those little flaps that go on the other side of the cover paper to create a belly band. Then you can insert things inside it. Next page, just a regular 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths cover paper. Nothing fancy. Love the butterflies. And this one is simply just make a pocket from a longer piece of paper that is 2 and 7 eighths by 4 and 3 eighths and you score it and 2 and 7 eighths and then the flap that you create attach it to the page on both sides with a little bit of glue to create a pocket. This one is 2 and 7 eighths by 7 and then you score it at 2 and 7 eighths and 5 and 7 eighths to create the double flaps. And 
and finally another 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths cover paper to add this one is also 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths cover paper and I just cut a little square it's 2 by 1 and a quarter and I'm going to add glue just on two of the sides to create a little side pocket to insert things this one again is a flap that I'm going to attach to the back side of 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths paper to create a flap that opens like that to towards downwards attach that and basically that is our final page the front and the back are the covers and we're going to do that later next we're going go, we're going to go back to our pockets and for each of the pocket openings I want to punch a half a circle so I'm just going to insert my punch and it's a three quarter punch circle punch and I'm going to do that little half a circle pu uh, punch on all of the pockets you have to choose on which side of the pocket you want to make that punch depending on the paper you have there if you have a mechanism or not so just make sure that you don't destroy any of the mechanisms that you make with your holes so I've completed all the holes and now I'm going to make a few inserts from leftover papers that I have from this um, collection these are not listed in your instructions because each one of us will have different leftover papers and basically the idea of creating inserts is very simple you take a piece of paper and you either fold it in an accordion shape or in a book shape or whatever it is that makes the paper fit inside the pocket so you either cut it to size or fold it and then you have an insert for example here I just scored on the lines of the images and folded so you might have different sizes of images or different sizes of leftovers so you'll make your own inserts for example this little guy here I'm just cutting it to size because I want to add a little pocket on the front of the flap you can play with it and add more and more mechanisms there is no end to what you can add to this little mini album so I've created an interactive mechanism on an interactive mechanism so these are just little pieces of paper that fit inside the pocket and if they're a little too big you simply trim them to size so that's really easy I don't even measure you just see that they're a little bit too long take my trimmer and cut the excess and I have two inserts and that's it just make sure that the glue is dry so I found another piece that I want to add on top of my little insert just gonna fold it and attach it like this on the top but I'm just going to attach one side so the other side is just going to open so I have a flap on an insert that goes inside the pocket that is on another flap you see this is this has no end 
you can just keep on creating little inserts so this one fits in it's wide enough to fit but it's too long so I'm just folding it in half now if you have a problem inserting things into the pockets just take your bone folder and widen the pocket a little bit so inserts are pretty easy to make just take a piece of paper I am going to cut out this little well it's kind of large bottle and I just want to make an insert in the shape of the bottle so I'm just going to cut around it like so and this is going to be my insert fun going to leave this under here this is the accordion on the other side now let's make an insert for this pocket here again I have a piece of paper that is wide enough but too long so I simply fold it in half and then widen the pocket a little bit with your bone folder and it fits right in this is how I create all my inserts nothing complicated or fancy now I'm going to take a few pieces fold them in half and create a little booklet so I'm not going to use the same size of papers just need to make sure that they're not too wide to fit inside the belly band so you see I have a this one is slightly too wide so I'm just going to cut the excess so I have two and then I'm going to add a little third one here again if it's too wide just trim the edges so I'm going it's still too wide so I'm going to put them all together and since it's so small I can take a staple and simply staple them in the middle and I have a little booklet isn't that cool again another insert from paper scraps again this one is going to go inside and I'm going to fold it but not in the middle that's why I made that little pencil mark because I want it to go like this inside the pocket and have a little flap staying on the outside like this it's a little bit too long so I'm going to cut off the edge and now it fits so it's the flap and an insert I'm going to cut a few butterflies to make another insert make sure that all the edges are straight and now I have another insert if it's too long I'm going to fold it let's insert it this way or this way this is going to be better so you see the idea of inserts are really easy just make sure that they fit inside whatever it is you want to put them in a pocket or a belly band just going to add a little butterfly here and let's make another insert so any pieces of papers that you have can become inserts as long again as they fit the size of your pocket and simply adjust their size by cutting them so I'm going to make a little pop-up now pop-ups are very easy all you need to do is take a piece of paper fold it in four equal parts so that would mean you fold it in half and then each part in half again and then you apply glue to the right and left edges close the insert like this and then you have a little square that is attached to the inside and you can add whatever image you want in the front and then you have a little pop-up like this a little butterfly pop-up this is really fun 
Okay, just widen the pocket like we did with all the other pockets. Again, I'm cutting leftover papers. And this is what is so fun about it because all those pieces that you thought you couldn't use, well, you can use them now. So, now you need about 15 inches of ribbon and we're going to attach it to our mini album. Apply glue to the horizontally to the center of your front cover. Attach the ribbon while leaving an edge and do the same thing on the back of the cover. So you have that ribbon attached and then you need to cut two two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths squares for the front and the back cover and simply attach them on top of the ribbon that will secure it and hide it at the same time. And then of course you can go ahead and embellish your front cover with any 3D embellishments that you want or any other letters, images, whatever it is that you want to add. It's not a good idea to do 3D or bulky embellishments inside the mini album, but on the front cover you can go wild. So I've attached two butterflies, one on top of the other for that 3D effect. And then all you need to do is close your mini album with the ribbon and cut off the excess. And basically your mini album is ready. I think it's really really cool and I just want to say that if you like this video please subscribe to my channel don't forget to click on the little bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video so just hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so this is our mini album the final product really fun and now you can make your own you can make lots of them give them as gifts or add little photos in them or just make them for fun and don't forget that you have the supply list in the description as well as the free download instruction guide that you can download the link is in the description and you can get all the measurements and detailed instructions how to create all the pages and the mini album in the description so just hit that link and get your copy of the printable guide so I hope you like this video love to hear what you think about it I'll see you all next time